Fairy Tale is back, and we're focusing on Urza and the Scenario Sisters this time. So apparently the sisters are going to fight one-on-one. The older sister, Annie, doesn't seem to have any interest in fighting whatsoever, while Luso is super excited about it. So Luso decides to do what she does, and she starts to warp the world around her. Her style hasn't changed. She likes to do creepy, cute things, where she basically makes the ground into giant, like, they look like sock puppet worm things, but their teeth are obviously real, and they try to eat Urza. She makes a springy bunny thing with gore on its face. Either that or chocolate syrup, I don't know. But just cheap stocks Urza across the ground. She then tries to crush Urza with a heart-shaped press with spikes. Urza equips into her animanti armor and blocks it easily. Once again, proving that Urza's equips are powered by her magic. So the stronger she is, the stronger her armors get. It isn't just her armors have a finite strength. Luso is confused for a second, but then Annie points out that she's probably using alchemy armor, or in this case, magic armor. Luso then gets over her surprise real quick and then decides to turn Animanti armor into a bikini. And then she is, of course, crushed by the heart. But obviously, she just equips another sword and cuts it in half. And then immediately after cutting it in half and jumping out of the way, she's then sucker punched again by what I assumed was a panda. But when I actually looked at it better, it's just a poorly stitched up teddy bear with polka dots. Luso then starts singing that this is her world and she can't be beaten here. And. Her sister's just humming along to the tune, apparently, I guess. I guess she's a really good singer. I don't know. It's clear these sisters love each other a lot. Urza then goes into Heaven's Wheel, which we haven't seen in a long time, because normally it doesn't actually work anymore. That's just the rule of anime. If it works once, you can't use, allow it to work again. Otherwise, you can't prove the next boss is stronger. But this, this definitely does work. She starts launching swords everywhere, just smashing apart the new world that was created by Luso. Urza's entire plan is basically to destroy the entire pocket dimension and it's a hundred percent working like it's not even close urza is destroying that shit faster than luso can actually make it and that's pissing her off like crazy i mean she's losing her cool her sister's trying to keep her calm but no nah, luso is just out of it yeah you can definitely tell she's mentally rocked by the fact that someone is actually smashing apart the world she's created because her creations are going from creepy cute to just creepy but yeah in the end going all out meant completely nothing sacrificing the cute for absolute just horror that is she's able to create because urza smashes through all of it and then slices her down okay so i'm just gonna say this luso there's no way in hell she's stronger than god serena there's no way she's was that as powerful as everyone was saying. The reason why I say that is because Urza beat her way too easily. What I'm going to be completely honest with, I'm going to assume Eni is the one who's actually really powerful, and her sister is just always by her side, so everyone assumes that she's on par with her sister. That has to be what happened, because Eni, first off, she has no self-control whatsoever. As soon as she's a little frustrated, she completely loses herself and just gets fucking dominated. Second, Urza took everything she had to defeat Misaki, and Misaki said that the Scenario sisters were stronger than her. I think she's meant specifically the older sister, because once again, there is no way in hell Uso is anywhere near as powerful as Misaki. Misaki, if their worlds collided, literally, because they were able to create their own dimensions, pocket dimensions each, Misaki would just fucking dominate Uso. It wouldn't even be a fight, it would just be complete destruction. And that basically gets proven out by the fact that Ina gets super fucking pissed, and the world goes from... Well, it started out with ugly cute to just ugly to now basically cosmic horror. And this basically confirms that Luso is basically nothing. Because, first off, her sister says enough with cheap tricks, basically calling what her sister was doing was just a trick. And Urza, literally, the amount of magic power that's coming off of any makes Urza tremble. She then equips into basically cosmic horror armor. She calls it destructive armor, but very cosmic horror-ish. So we finally learn what her alchemy is. Urza still thinks it's magic because she's doing equip magic. But no, it's uh, apparently uh, armor alchemy because she literally thought that Urza was doing the exact same thing earlier. So they basically get confused by each other's abilities because they have very similar abilities. But the point of alchemy is that it changes one thing into another, which means her clothing either got turned into an armor or her very flesh turned into the armor. And based on the aesthetic of the cosmic horror thing going on, I'm going to assume her very flesh got turned into the armor, and the, the sword even has eyeballs. So I'm going to assume that armor isn't, like, hard and solid. It, it probably is solid, but it's probably going to feel organic. It's going to feel like flesh. It's probably the most uncomfortable thing to feel or even look at. I can imagine it probably even pulses <laughs> when it moves. Straight up, this armor's alive. It has to be. It just has to be. This 100% is going to be Urza's real fight. And this time, she's gonna get fucking destroyed. Because that's how Urza's fights always go. She gets fucking annihilated throughout the entire fight. With her and Eni are gonna be 
covered in blood by the end of this. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up so you can join more Fairytale and other main things. Thank you and have a great day.